Hey guys, so I'm here with the last ever physical 3DS games. There are two of them that were released at the same time. It's the Go Go Coco Polo Anniversary Collection. And in this case, they were released by Limited Run Games. I'm going to be opening these, uh, popping them in the 3DS, and we'll see how they are. The other two games that came out this year that some thought may have been the last titles released were uh, Andrew Dunos 2 from Pixel Heart and a game called Fragrant Story by Squire Games. <clears throat> but these, even though they were manufactured at the same time, were just released. I just got these in the mail yesterday. Some people have gotten them in today from Limited Run. So Nintendo, when they announced that the 3DS was... the 3DS and Wii U uh, eShops are going to be shut down in 2023. They also put in a deadline for making physical cartridges. So even though no one had really made a game in several years, there were like a bunch of homebrew developers or other, not homebrew per se, but you know, like small independent game companies that said, you know, I want to get in on this before they shut it down. So there were four different games. There were these two which are kind of upside down, which bugs me, but there's these two, and there were uh, Andrew Dunos 2 and Fragrant Story. All of those basically put in their orders early this year, and in around like February or so of this year, 2022, Nintendo made the cartridges for them. As far as I know, as of this video being made, the 3DS production facilities have already shut down like months ago. I don't know why Limited Run waited so long to release these, but the reason they said there were limited quantities are exactly that. I mean, they've already been made. They can't make more if they wanted to. So this is the double pack, but both games were available individually. It was the exact same price to get both of them in this double pack. It was basically like $35, $35, or $70 for this. So you don't pay any extra. You don't save any. It was the same price, but you get this cool little cardboard outer sleeve. So, you know, why not? So let's go ahead and open it and um, take a better look at what's inside. And if I can, I'll fire up the games. But I don't know how much I can play one-handed. <laughs> Got to hold the camera with the other hand. So um, go ahead and get a letter opener out here. And, sorry, I'm kind of doing this off camera here. It's a little bit tricky, but basically I just need to, there we go, slice the plastic enough that I can peel it apart. Like this. Yeah, typically once you break the seal, you can just sort of peel the rest of it apart. So, yeah, um, let's go ahead and, here, now it's all coming off. Okay, sorry about that. The camera zoomed in very far when I shoot in 4K. Okay, <clears throat> so let's dump this out. We've got, oh, it looks like both games are individually wrapped inside the outer box because I can see the reflective shrink wrap here. So we've got this game called Harmonious Forest Revenge. Here's the cover of that with the cat. And some angry looking thing up in a cloud. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Um, here's the back. And if you're curious. Oh, okay. So they have their own little thing. It says LR3DS002CVR. That's like the limited run serial number. But this here is the Nintendo one. A5LE. So that is, yeah, that's the code Nintendo gave it. We also have this one that says 3D, and it underneath it, it says uh, Space Recipe for Disaster. Also got some cats. Looks like this game is very cat-focused. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just a different... I mean, it might be the same characters. I honestly don't know. I don't know anything about this game. The reason I bought them was because they are the last 3DS games that are being made. Or that were being made, rather. And, uh, sounds like my dog has to go out, so I'm gonna let her out and come right back, and we'll open these up further and take a look at them. Okay, 
So while the camera was off, I went ahead and took the shrink wrap off of both of these just because it's easier when I have two hands to use. I didn't open them though. So let's go ahead. Um, this one I think was designated the first of the two. Or wait, no, this says 03 and this one is 02. So yeah, this one is the first in the series, I guess. So let's go ahead and pop this one open. Wow, it's being stubborn. There we go. Okay. So inside it we've got, okay, so the art is not double-sided like some games were, but we've got our cartridge. Um, I can flip it around, but it's going to be the same as any other game. You just got like the little code on the back there. And uh, yeah, so get a good view of that. And here we have an instruction manual. Which is one of the nice things about limited run games, is they actually do include physical manuals. Pretty much every other developer, at least all of the like mainstream ones, don't. The bespoke companies will still, but like none of the big guys, you know, like Nintendo themselves, as well as like Activision and EA and like all these companies, they don't make physical manuals anymore for anything. Whether it's Nintendo or Xbox or PlayStation, like they don't they don't do that. So um yeah, let's flip through it real quick. You got your safety warnings, pretty standard for all Nintendo stuff. Here you've got the Nintendo seal, because even though it is limited run, every 3DS game that's made has to be licensed by Nintendo, so here is the page showing that it is. And yes, I know you can use homebrew to play unlicensed games, but like no one has bothered to release those on cartridges, because there wouldn't be a point. If you're going to install custom software on your 3DS, it's easier to just install games like that way. I mean, the time and effort to make a cartridge would not be worth it if you have to like mod your system. So yeah, as far as I know, every 3DS cartridge only plays on, or like, I mean, it will play on Homebrew too. I'm saying every licensed 3DS cartridge was licensed by Nintendo. Okay, so story. Snoozing peacefully in the shade, the wildcat Coca Polo hasn't a care in the world. His snooze is quickly interrupted when the peaceful Sky Guardian Jinbi zooms by. A misplaced drum lands on Coca Polo's head, knocking him into a fit of rage, and so begins his madcap quest for revenge. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it's basically an arcade type game, as it says on the back. I mean, it's just. They, there's always a story. It's like, you know, Mario has a story, and Sonic has a story, and all this, but doesn't really matter. I mean, it's just the gameplay is what you want. So, um, yeah, see, interesting here, it says you can switch between one-to-one -one pixel mode or full screen by pressing L and Y simultaneously. So I'm guessing <clears throat> the actual game runs at a lower resolution than the 3DS, and it just kind of stretches it. Um, but you can read through the controls. I'm not going to read them all out loud here, but, you know, pause the video. You can get a good view. And I'm sorry about the glare. Um, unfortunately, overhead lights will do that, and all of this stuff is printed with reflective paper. So, yeah, if it was a matte finish, then it wouldn't be as much of an issue, but it seems like every, like, video game that I've come across has somewhat reflective paper. So, yeah, that's where the glare's coming from. It's just, you know, I gotta have the lights on for the camera to pick this up. So, digesting enemies sounds kind of curvy-ish to me. Here's the uh, the enemies. This actually reminds me a lot of Commander Keen, a, an old video game series I played growing up. They had, in the instruction manual to those, they listed out all the enemies and showed what they looked like. So it looks like this is kind of the same thing. It's just, you know, listed. So here are the bosses. Um, let's see if I can get a better... Get the, get the glare down a little bit here. Um, probably the best I'm going to be able to get. I'm sure all of this is also available digitally. Like, there's an e-manual probably, so even though I would offer to scan this, I don't think there's really... Like, you can probably just find a PDF on their website or even on Nintendo's website. Like, I don't know, but... Um, this is the printed manual, at least. So, yeah, it looks like you got a time attack mode, too. And then on the back... <laughs> Okay, so that makes it look like someone, like, clawed it, right? And, you know, like, claw marks on there. So, yeah, see, it says 10th anniversary, 2011 to 2021. Well, this is actually 2022, but uh, they're only a year off. <laughs> yeah, it says copyright 2021, which further makes me think that this game was probably made, like, a year ago. 
and they just sat on it for whatever reason. But whatever, limited run does what limited run does. So let's put the manual back and we'll go ahead and fire this up. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna look at the other one first and then I'll do both gameplay. I'll do both cartridges like back to back. That way, if you don't care about the gameplay, you can just stop watching the video, right? Okay, so open that one. And this is now, interestingly, I heard from somebody else that there was supposed to be a trading card in here, but like, I don't see one. Um, There's nothing in here. So maybe they forgot it for my game. Like I don't have a trading card in there. Um, Now it's possible the box itself, like the, the shipping box had one, but this double pack is definitely lacking a trading card. So, just pointing that out. So, anyway, here's um, here's the 3D one. And here's the back. Whoops. Let me uh, grab it again. Okay, so here are the numbers on the back. Yeah, you really get a good, good feel for, like, all of the intricates, uh, you know, stuff that they emboss on there or print on there when they make these games. Makes it easy to spot fakes because they usually, um, if not that I've ever seen any counterfeit 3DS games because of like the way that they're encrypted, but with DS, these little numbers, like the little, you know, these little things here, like the, where it says like DS 10001 10, like that, those won't be there on fakes because it's too hard for them to like print that stuff and these little like numbers here. So even though they're going to be in an authentic looking plastic case like yeah okay anyway let's read the 3d one so safety warnings same as the other one you don't need to spend time on that same nintendo seal here as well here's your cover picture with the cat It even says, yeah, see, look, for more in-depth information about the game mechanics main menu, file select, game progression, etc., please refer to the e-manual directly accessible from the game cartridge. So, as I figured, there is an e-manual, um, probably has all the same information, but part of the appeal of buying physical games, at least was, to get stuff like this. Nowadays, I don't really care. I mean, Switch, I almost never buy physically because they don't come with anything anymore. <laughs> with the exception of Limited Run and some of the other bespoke publishers, they, they really don't. Like, you just get an empty box and a tiny cartridge. There's nothing else. So, I'm more inclined to buy those digitally. These, though, you get this nice printed, uh, glossy paper. So, yeah. Here are your controls. Using the arrow pad to walk, I mean, that's pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory. Or D-pad, rather. Arrow keys or D-pad. Yeah. No one says arrow pad. Um, okay. So I'm trying to be careful with the pages here as to not, like, you know, crease them or anything. Because even though I did open it, I like to keep my stuff in good condition. I'm guessing that a lot of people who bought this, though, are probably going to keep it sealed. Because people seem to like keeping games sealed. <laughs> Enemies looks exactly the same as the other one, actually. It might be the same. But if they're if I'm not and you're flipping between time codes and they're different, I'm probably gonna look dumb. But <laughs> yeah, it looks like the same enemies, maybe in a different order, if anything. Here's your uh, your bosses though. And and then the last pages, you know, your recipe cards and time attack just like the other game and that's it that's the back and it looks like the back is the same with the you know the claw marks there tanuki studios limited so um yeah let's go ahead and get the cartridges out here and we'll give them a try that one and we got this one so i'll do this one first because it's number two and this one is number three so i think the number one is probably there was one other 3ds game that they made like several years back like 2018 maybe they made a 3ds game and i think i have it somewhere but i forget what it's called anyway um so got my 3ds here let's go ahead and pop this in sorry 
sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Okay, so here's your uh, little icon there, little icon here. Looks like it doesn't actually move around or anything. Like, you know how sometimes if you, when you're making noise, like on the eShop, like the little bag, when I, like, if I tap the microphone, the little bags fly around. <laughs> yeah, it looks like this is just that. Like, there's no... Oh, it bounces up and down. That's that's about all it does. And just because I can, let's hit manual here. I'm sorry, the light's glaring off the 3DS. Um, so not as colorful, but I mean, you can read it all. It's got the little game screenshots and everything. So, yeah, I mean, you can, if you're curious, you can buy it digitally. I'm sure it's the same manual. Okay, so I'm trying to open it now. I don't understand why these cartridges take so long like the digital games i feel like they open faster maybe it's just me and i'm used to the switch but um yeah so there's your tanuki studios and it looks like it's using uh, the same aspect ratio on both screens see the extras on the side there's nothing okay So looks like you have to unlock the time attack feature. Like it's not available right out of the box. Um, I'll go ahead and do story mode. Uh, you know, most games are not easy to play one-handed, so I'm not expecting this to be. Oh, I have to put my name in? Okay, fine. Um, is there a lowercase? No, it doesn't look like there is a lowercase, so I have to just. Uh... Yeah, okay. Doesn't look like there's a lowercase, so I just have to boot in all, boot in all caps. Um, I'm gonna do easy because I'm trying to play this one-handed, right? <laughs> okay. Do you want to try tutorial mode first? Yeah, sure. Why not? So it looks like it's kind of like a, I don't know how to describe this, like a 2.5D map where like you can see kind of a 3D view here, but it's still a 2D. That's probably why the other one's called 3D, right? Because it is. <laughs> so B to jump and then A, I guess, is to attack, right? Yeah, okay. Um, okay, this is not going to work. Like I, I already tell you I can't do this. Oh, well, I did, but, yeah, I'm probably going to get killed as soon as I see an enemy, because, <laughs> uh, I, I really can't, yeah, I can't, it's too much trying to press left and B at the same time. Oh, wow, I actually did it, look at that. There should be, like, an award for doing this one-handed. Where's the next section, though? It says, go to the next section. I don't know, what, what next section? I don't... Oh, oh, okay, I see. So, scratching, yeah, I already did that. So, go up to this balloon and just scratch it. Yep, okay. <laughs> Fun. Because you're a cat and you scratch things. That's what you do. Okay. And... Now learn how to dash. Press R. Yeah, that's not happening. I can't physically reach R and this at the same time, but... Um... Okay, but you get the hang of it. It's a two. It's like a 2.5D type of game. Um, before I do that, though, I want to check if the... I know it, the actual map is like 2.5D, but does the 3D... No, okay, so it looks like it is in 2D in that, like, if you turn the 3D on, it doesn't do anything. It's the whole, the whole game is in 2D, right? You see that? Nothing's changing on the screen when I do this. So I'm guessing the other one is going to be... 3D because it says 3D on the, on the cover. Um, all right, so let's uh, pop that one out here. I'm gonna have to put the system like this to put games in. Well, it's kind of a weird place for the cartridges, isn't it? But I like the new, like the new 3DS XL in pretty much every other regard, except for the the weird cartridge placement and the fact that the stylus is so small. Where did my? Hold on. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to normally when you put the cartridge in, it like jumps to the other side automatically, but I guess this one didn't. I don't know. Okay. 
and you know pretty much your e-manual is like the same here so you can go like i'm just curious if i click support information is it going to be limited run no it's this tanuki studios so it's not limited run i think they just distributed it maybe or they published it yeah limited run published it but it looks like tanuki is the actual like developer of the game so limited run does not want you to call them about this game <laughs> okay let's fire this one up here see like it takes a minute you, you like launch a game in it like yeah i don't know i don't really use the 3ds much anymore but i should i really like this system it was probably the best system nintendo made the 3d part of it wasn't very good but like overall it was just the ds but better you know, and you could buy games digitally, which is awesome. Okay, got our little opening animation here. Press start to skip. Well, let me check. Ah, yeah, there we go. So it's obviously not going to work on the camera, but, like, you can see if I, let's see, like, see when I turn on the 3D, the screen kind of does that, like, it gets blurry. That's what happens when you use the 3D, like, yeah, see? There. Like, see how you can see the two? Like, it's not going to be... Like, yeah, you're not... You guys aren't going to be able to, like, put on 3D glasses or something, but you can see that the 3D effects, like, as I move the dial up and down, it does make the two sets of lines get closer and further apart. Right? So, okay, let's turn the 3D off. But it does... This does have 3D. I mean, again, I was expecting it because it was called 3D. Okay. Let's just let's just press start and skip it. Now I'm curious if the gameplay. Um, okay, let's go into the tutorial here. Now this one it looks like time attack is unlocked right out. Wait. Yeah, you can just do the time attack right out of the right out of the box. The, the other one you can't. But let's do this tutorial here. See what it shows. Wait, really? This is the same exact. Oh, okay. That's weird. So it is basically the same, like, 2.5D type of thing going on. Interesting. And then the jumping and all that, right? So, okay. Oop, like this. What happens if I hit the spikes? Probably loses hearts, right? Yeah, yeah. He just puts ow and then... Yeah, like that. See? You just lose all... <laughs> you lose hearts when you do that. Okay. Oh, and, okay, it looks like you can use the circle pad to move, even though it doesn't tell you you can, but... Like, it just tells you to use the arrows, but you definitely can use the circle pad. It lets you... Okay. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm using it right now. The guy walks around. So, yeah, this is exactly the same tutorial as the other game. Like, that's kind of interesting. Except now... See how the, yeah, it's harder to notice because it's only like a 2.5D type of thing, but you see how those hearts are moving around when I do this? At the bottom left there? Yeah, so, I mean, it is, it is in, uh, in 3D. Okay, um, whatever, how do I quit? Oh, that looks like Sonic the Hedgehog right there, <laughs> look at that. Those little, um, like the little text options in the, in the background there. That looks just like one of the Sonic games. Okay, um... Let's do story mode. Like, I'm curious, because it would be weird. <sighs> Fine, I'm going to enter my name again. Hold on. Let's try, uh... I know I'm supposed to use the stylus, but if I can just... Whoa! No, 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 I did... Hold on. I did this wrong. Let's, uh, hit X to delete. Yes, I want to permanently delete. <sighs> okay. There we go. What? Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to hold the camera while I do this, but Okay. There we go. Okay. I don't know why do you say like like AEG B E H and C F I. Like I don't know what that is, but whatever. No, I don't want to do tutorial because I want to see if this is in 3D and I can't finish the tutorial one-handed. Yeah, this looks interesting. Yeah, this is like the same sort of 2.5D thing going on. Where you just move in four directions, and you can, you can like do that. You can jump, but it's like a. Okay, let's see, can I attack this guy? Yeah, I can attack this guy. Oh, okay, that that made him mad. Well, yeah, because someone walked up and punched him in the face. Of course, it made him mad. I would be mad too if someone did that. Ooh, come on, come on, die! Oh, 
So the X just means he responds there. All right, nope, get out of my face. Get out of my face. Uh, okay. Well, he's just gonna endlessly respawn, so let's not waste our time with that. And then I guess you're supposed to jump over this guy, right? So, ah, try to do this one-handed, okay. Wait. I don't know what I'm doing, actually. Like, is that... Wait, so, what am I... What are you supposed to be doing? Like, I jumped over that guy, like it said, and it doesn't... I mean, okay, well, I'm dead. I turned into a ghost. <laughs> okay, whatever. I, I can't... I clearly can't do this one-handed. So, you see the bottom, you got a little map. Like this. And on the top is your, you know, gameplay. Um, but yeah, I, I can't, I can't really do any more of this with one hand, but that shows you the gameplay, kind of like a, it's like a, a 2D platformer, but it's got like this, the tilted camera angle, or what they call like a 2.5D. So, hopefully that was enough to, uh, give you an idea if you'd like the gameplay or not, and, yeah, so that is the Coco Polo, uh, double pack. But more importantly, these are the last two physical 3DS games that, were ever, that will ever be sold. Unless people start making unlicensed ones at some point in the future, which could happen. Like if the master keys leak and people figure out how to like write their own cartridges or something. Like I guess someone could make like reproduction cartridges and start offering homemade games on them. But I feel like... The 3DS is kind of already dead enough that there'd really be no reason to do that. People were surprised that these new games were even coming out, but I think the uh, the developers wanted to just get in on the fact that this is their last chance. And if they had planned to release this a year ago like they did, then they basically had no choice but to release it now. So, yeah, so there's... Uh... Go Go Coco Polo Harmonious Forest Revenge and Go Go Coco Polo 3D Space Recipe for Disaster. And uh, yeah, once again, here's the little outer box they came in. I don't have a trading card in here, so if I'm missing it, I may need to contact Limited Run about that. But um, it can easily fit in one of these boxes, like if you open yours. So yeah, there's a little overview of the two last 3DS games to ever be made. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and uh, if anyone feels like buying the game, um, Limited Run is probably going to run out very soon if they haven't already. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll have more games to review soon.